What's up, y'all? It's Jay Global. I'm here with Chicago artist Lil Rello. Lil Rello, what's up, bro? You know what's the word, man? Man, all right, so tell us, man, what, what you currently working on right now? Shit, right now. <clears throat> right now, shit, I'm just getting ready for the summer, bro. It's gonna be a hot Oh, bro. I'm working on the whole tape, you know, badass. I had just dropped, like, down like eight, nine songs at the beginning of this year. And I had, uh, Put a video out right after that, just to give motherfuckers like a little, little peek and to see what's finna come, type shit. Like I said, this song finna be a hot one. I ain't even really got no definite thought as far as like either a project or just giving video after video. I just know this shit finna get hot. So you about to take over this song, right? For sure. Right. Not just me, it's a whole, you feel me? Whole, whole, whole family behind me. Whole family behind me. As far as that, like what you actually got planned, like what what should we look forward to this summer? Well, shit, this summer, like I say 2020, man, I'm trying to step on niggas next. So, shit, this summer be gonna be then like the best summer yet, for real, for real. Expect the unexpected, on bro. Expect the unexpected, shit, cause I don't even know what to expect from this motherfucker. I just know it's gonna be that. I'm making sure, for sure. You recently dropped a video called Badass Flow. Mm -hmm. And what was to that? What what that came about? Shit, man, that was really badass. So it really for them 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 day one Lorello fans, man. Them dumb who who remember me just you feel me just going the fuck off, just eating shit up. You feel me? That's why I said certain shit I said on that motherfucker. And that was really like I said for for the motherfuckers who been fucking with the kids since then and. and the the to the motherfuckers for who was the first time hearing badass flow is like you feel me a peek into what's from the comp type shit um bro and that's just that's just feel me that badass flow like just in the name like that just you know what I'm saying that just raw like you feel me like just go crazy type shit you feel me which motherfuckers know me for doing you feel me that's why I say this for them day ones that's what motherfuckers know me for doing just getting on some shit and just going crazy um bro so you dropped that video about two or three months ago yeah I dropped that bitch probably like the end of January type shit um, bro a few weeks from my day. What was the um what was the feedback that you was getting? Oh man, they ate that shit up. Um bro, they ate that shit up. <clears throat> I'm really bogus cause I was supposed to <clears throat> I'm really bogus I was supposed to step on their neck right afterwards though, cause they was they was waiting on I had promised them some shit right afterwards though. The motherfuckers was fucking with it heavy. Like cause like I said, for the motherfuckers who day one, they knew the vibe, you feel me? They were just happy to see you feel me, young niggas still, you know what I'm saying? Still ain't shit changed. I'm still at them bitches. Shit, not better than never, for real. Oh shit, as far as how motherfuckers just edit, man, they just waiting that, they just waiting on the next one. Come on, bro. So, I saw that you did a, um, <coughs> you did a freestyle to, uh, Meek Mills 1942. Oh, yeah, that 95 flows. Yeah, that's my shit. Did, oh, bro, motherfucker be fucking with that, yeah. Did you ever, uh, did you ever put that out, like, other than just, like, the, the little short video that you dropped? No, I had, that's, that was one of the songs I had dropped back at the, um, beginning of January and shit. I had put that out, like, a bunch of other shit. Um, bro, I put that shit up on, uh, YouTube and SoundCloud, all that shit. Um, bro, but yeah, motherfuckers, that was, that was, that was love, love, you know, I be in the airway, been a little bit of airway, so. I be seeing, you feel me, which certain songs motherfuckers gravitate to the most type shit, you feel me? Like it be them certain little ones or motherfuckers like uh uh wanna repeat that motherfucker for the third and fourth time type shit. And 95 so it was definitely that. I put up that was a lot of you feel me, you feel me, a lot of emotion, not emotion, but just passion into that shit. A lot of them lyrics, you feel me? There was a lot of passion behind that shit. So I already know how them them type of songs be gonna be anyway. That shit be just like a, a motherfucking just really getting shit off my chest. And that's what really, you feel me? A motherfucker just told me this stuff not too long ago though. Like, as far as like me and my my best, you feel me, plateau is either when I'm just, just going to fuck off, you feel me, or really getting some shit off my chest, really, you know what I'm saying, like, like, opening up my, my mental, you feel me, and really them want some thoughts type shit, and that was one of them, so. You said that you talked about, like, a lot of, um, a lot of emotion in that song, um, what's some of the things that you spoke on? Man, shit, first line I said, shit, I was starving with niggas who turned the eight on my face. So I was faithful to business. What a fucking mistake. Um, bro, a lot of that shit, hey, it's here, then every line, every line had some really, like, real life, you feel me? Behind it to it, bro. That really be everything, everything be like that, but just like a song was straight through, just all that, you feel me? Just them one thoughts, all that, it be like every line be just a story behind it, um, bro. 
So you have um how long you actually been rapping? Man shit. Also for real, for real shit, like recording. Shit, I started recording. Probably not like 15 on bro. 14, 15, I started recording. But it's fine, like rapping me, coming out my mouth, making words rhyme. Shit, I've been doing that shit as long as I've been talking on bro. Since I've been walking and talking, I've been rapping. And uh, you had you had took a, a a break from rapping. Why you end up taking that break? Shit, man, life. I'm um, bro. Motherfuckers like. And then with me, like I'm I'm my biggest. You feel me, like critic. So like when a motherfucker think like, yeah, Lord, be going crazy. I really be thinking like, man, I need some better shit to talk about. Like I'm tired of talking about the same shit. You feel me? So that had me on some. You know what I'm saying? The whole type of mentality on some fuck rap. Like I gotta get real life straight first, so I could have some. You feel me? Bigger and better shit to talk about. And shit, I thought about that with that being, you feel me, my mentor, I thought it was the right way. Shit, that shit ended me with fucking two fucking fellas. So, bro. So, coming, I'm still, that shit hanging over my head now, bro. I'm going back and forth to court for that shit. So, that's why I'm like, in the meantime, shit, to put my, put my foot on this rap shit, for real, for real. Because ain't no, you feel me, that's, that's, that's a whole nother story. Like, I got some whole other shit going on with my, you feel me? Fate ain't even in my hands, you feel me? So, I still got my freedom. Go on, try to make the most of with it, you feel me? This rap shit. So, if you was to, hopefully not, but if you was to get convicted, how much time you looking at? Man, them bitches gave that paper, that bitch said 3 to 15. I know they ain't gonna, it ain't gonna be too much of shit though, because you know what I'm saying? After that's my first case of shit after, you feel me? Even though the case was some shit, but this is my first case, you feel me? I know that, at, 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 Worse, they ask for a little county time, you feel me, motherfucking probation. But that shit be all the way out there, though, you feel me? That's one thing about being OT. Them bitches play by a whole different rule on bro. So you didn't catch your charge in Chicago? Hell no. Nah. Where you was at with it? Shit up down, fucking Wisconsin, man. I don't even want to even get off into too much of that shit with that, with that case and shit, because that shit, you feel me, pending type shit. But... On some Wisconsin shit though, my niggas, my my rush mob niggas out there. If you when I was really when I really first went up there, when I really first went up to Wisconsin, you feel me? Back in um, back in 2016, you feel me? It was on some rap shit. You feel me? When I had first went up there, fucking with my my niggas them up there, and you feel me? Shit got weird. Like that's one thing about being in a small town. You feel me? Like that that everybody. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that was the only difference, so you feel me, here and being somewhere else. Like, you think being from the rap, you think you done seen it all, done it all, you ain't, ain't, ain't gonna be shit. Another city could teach you, you feel me, type shit. But with that bitch being so small, bro, it feel like a motherfucker's under a magnifying glass. Like, and and me being, you feel me, the introvert or extrovert I am, you feel me, like, on some rap shit, like, yeah, it's cool, but really, like, I don't like that type shit. Because everybody, the motherfucker, everybody, the whole motherfucker think they know you and shit, like, you. Topic of discussion, motherfucker got this to say about you, that to say about you, did it really like motherfucker don't even know you at all. You feel me? So I was really down there finna, finna lose my cool for real, for real. So I had to get up out of the bin, double back a couple years later on some trap shit. That's when I had fell off from the rap shit, double back up on some trap shit. Fucked around, had a little run, got bumped. You feel me? You know, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's what's going on. So you, uh, you originally from Chicago, mm -hmm. but you had, uh, you have moved out to Atlanta for a while? Yeah, I was in the A. I had went to the A shit in 2015 and fucking um, 2018. I brought out some people down there. 2015, I was really just on some, you feel me, just want to get down there on some, you feel me, fun type shit. But really get down there and, you know what I'm saying, S spread some roots. You feel me, that made me double back 2018 when I was down there for dinner like a year. I was down there just playing crazy for real. I only had, you feel me, came back to the crib. You feel me? Under certain circumstances, type shit. Like it wasn't in my plan to come back to the crib when I moved back to the crib. There was some shit going on with my family and shit while I had to come back to the crib. Um, did you take care of any music business while you was down there? For sure, on bro. For sure, for sure. I was down that bitch playing crazy, on bro. On show every. I I did it. Could have did a fucking show every night if I wanted to. For real, Atlanta's something different, on bro. It got to a point when I was doing no bitches and I feel like it, like little contests and shit, like motherfuckers going out, you feel me? I'm winning $500, you feel me? $1,000, you feel me? Contests, and it's really just for me for the sport type shit, you feel me? That's what I'm down, really down here for, to fuck around with music shit. So I'm going in that bitch, I'm standing on top of tables, walking on couches and shit, motherfuckers looking at me, y'all type of crazy, I'm broke. 
So yeah, I was definitely fucking around. And that's how I got, that's really how I spread my roots down there in 2015. You feel me? I had, that's when I was really on some rap shit down there. That's how, you know what I'm saying? By the time, by the time I went back and on um, 2018 shit, I had already knew that bitch like the back of my hand. Um, what is, what's the difference between the Chicago music scene and the Atlanta music scene? It's 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 kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy because as far as the lyrics go, motherfuckers really talking about the same shit. You feel me? In the lyrics, you feel me? It's just about the differences differences in how a motherfucker breaking this shit. You feel me? Like, and then you know, motherfucking Atlanta all down there. You know what I'm saying? No shade on them. You feel me? But down there, all sound like each other, like on the same way type shit. You feel me? It's a couple standouts, but. You know what I'm saying? It's not really like that in the rap. You feel me? If you really know Chicago music, like everybody sound like, you feel me, themselves type shit. You feel me? I feel like in Atlanta, it's more, it, it, might, it might seem like it's more uh, diverse with the music because of more sound and more people. You feel me? But it really, you know what I'm saying? That sound really all kind of similar. But as far as Chicago, it's not as many. You feel me? As far as known, you know what I'm saying? On some national or global type shit, it's not really as many known, you feel me, rappers, but all of them got a different sound. I feel like Chicago got, got more individualism, you feel me, than anything. A uh, Chicago rapper, you feel me, as far as the music scene, period, like Chicago got individualism. Everybody don't, everybody sound like they self type shit. Like it's not even really like no way. Like I feel like, and like I said, no shade on Atlanta, you feel me, because I got a lot of shit. I had to shit I listen to the nigga from Atlanta, you feel me, but like I said, the lyrics really more so, the lyrics really more so be the same thing to be about how a motherfucker did bring it. And with Chicago, it's way more ways of bringing it than it, than it would be in Atlanta, I think. Uh, what, what do you think about the, the support system? Because I hear like Atlanta people support they people more than Chicago support sure. their own people. You agree with that? For sure. For sure, hell yeah. yeah. And that's what shit, motherfucking Chicago, a uh, 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 love hate city shit, well mostly hate when it comes to the streets, you feel me? That, like, that's, a, that's a big difference too. You feel me? It's probably like Atlanta, the street niggas uh, 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 put that street shit to the side, though, you feel me? Chase it back for the rap shit. You feel me? As far as rap, motherfuckers, you know what I'm I feel like motherfuckers would, but it's not, it's not, it's not that much opportunity. You feel me? It's not, it's not that, the, the opportunity ain't the same. You feel me? Like I said, there's way more niggas coming out of Atlanta, you feel me? But I feel like if the, if the opportunity was similar, it'd be similar. But Chicago, like I said, that shit just a little hate city. You feel me? I feel like, um, what, uh, Herb and Dirk doing, you feel me, like say linking up on shit, you feel me, that's, you know what I'm saying, opening the gateway, for sure, because a lot of motherfuckers seeing, like, you know what I'm saying, motherfuckers, that shit ain't really about shit, motherfuckers, damn, motherfuckers really make good music, on um, bro, like, you think about a lot of motherfuckers who was the ops with each other, would've been on song with each other, like, shit would've been raw as hell, on um, bro, and then, and I feel like as rappers, if a motherfucker, if a motherfucker, like, whatever a motherfucker consider they self as, you feel me, as far as being in the streets, or whatever the fuck, you feel me, like, if you, if you call yourself doing this rap shit, like, it all started with being a fan. Feel me being a fan of music, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like if motherfucker really, you know what I'm saying, put their heart in this shit, you feel me? But that's to each his own, though. Yeah, that's to each his own. And I feel like, yeah, Atlanta, Atlanta more quick to do that. Way more quicker to do that. Speaking of features, are you looking forward to doing any features with any Chicago artists? I mean, I wouldn't say looking forward to, but shit, I don't, I don't really give a fuck on, bro. Like, as far as, like, I'll feature with whoever. I we're not on no weak shit, cause motherfuckers know me. Know I got, I got flame. You feel me? But I feel too well, um, bro. I fuck, I fuck with a lot of niggas from the shit. I'm um, bro, I fuck with a lot of niggas from the shit. On my eyes, don't rap. I mean, if they do, they weak as hell. I ain't heard a track from their ass. All right, so the question I'm about to ask you, I already know the answer, but I want you to tell the people who your favorite rapper. Like y'all all tell. Not Curry, all time. My all time favorite rapper. Damn. I don't know. That's I, I. I know. I know. It's only one or two people. You feel me? It's only one or two people. So I'm trying to make sure I'm understanding your question. Like, it, it's, me? it's one rapper that you told me a long, long time ago. You put me up on one of his songs, and I swear to this day, I still listen to that song. Ooh, shit. Damn. Think about eighth grade. Who was your favorite rapper when you was in eighth grade? Eighth grade. 
I was here right on the wall came out. So I know Gucci, I was slamming Gucci heavy, but I know around that time everything was winning. For real, for real. Before they days. Then it was pop. It had to be, that's what I'm saying. I, that's why I'm like, if you talk about some that shit or some things, that's why it's either one, it had to be either Wayne or Pop. But oh, yeah, for sure. It was, it was definitely Pop. What song are you talking about, though? What you think? Give me a guess. What, what you think it was? Alright, now that one I can't tell you, but I know, it, I know more Pop songs than fucking anything. That it one was, it was one song you used to listen to all the time that was about Pop. Man, I can't tell you because I used to listen to a lot of them bitches all the time. I still do, oh, bro. It was that, uh, I'd rather be an N-I-G-G-A. <laughs> it don't yeah. matter if you're lonely, baby. You need a thug in your life. Them busters ain't love in your right. Oh, bro. And you see motherfuckers, the bitch Megan Stallion, freak that shit, you feel me? Got that shit playing on the radio now, you feel me? I that's that. That's I that. Ain't heard it. Oh, bro, that bitch got a whole song just like that. Tell me, I'd rather be a V I T C H. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. But that's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. That's that. Long That's that. That's that influence, of motherfucker. You feel me? Really inspiring for for real, for real, for real. Oh, bro. Oh, bro. Damn it. Twenty some odd years later, motherfucker still using that as a drum boy. That's what motherfucker really you feel me. I boy, don't get me started on pop, boy. Oh, bro. <laughs> All right, we, we gonna jump back to you though. Um, you got the song that you uh you haven't released it yet, but you got it. Uh, tell the people about that. What what's behind that? Oh shit, man! That motherfucking all facts. I had uh fucked around on dirt shit that day, rough and on bro. That was really on some me. I I wasn't feeling it. This I wasn't feeling it. Life in general, um, bro. I wasn't feeling it around that time, and I just woke up one day. Um, Bro, and I just went at that shit. So, and like, that's, that's the, I mean, one of them, like, you feel me, 95 flows, but I'll be, you feel me? I don't be too quick to judge. But I'll be knowing, like, how motherfuckers be reacting to my shit. We gonna play a little bit of the song. Uh, that's cool? Yeah, for sure. We go Yo, Tony, where you at? I already getting that hit. So good. Bad. Ah. No, the money, ain't no bad. Hey, whoever woke up one day, if you wanna see the next, I got my shooters going switching, they don't need a net. I just need a reason, but not even just for me to stretch. Please take it easy, but you squeeze it, you don't need a bet. Lot of track is double track. That be like when them, when them, that that shit, that shit came to itself. Like I ain't, even, I ain't even attempt at that shit. Like that shit just came out of me. Like I, like my first word was motherfucking. Um, you ever woke up one day and didn't want to see the next? You feel me? Like, like I said, like I, I wasn't feeling it. Um, bro, life in general, I wasn't feeling it at the time, um, bro. And that's how I, you feel me? Felt when I woke up, type shit. So I, that shit took me all the motherfucking. 20, 30 minutes, you feel me? As far, from beginning to end, as far as writing shit, um, bro, studio, that'd be a whole different story. I'd be on some perfection and shit. I'd be taking a long ass time. I could fly through some shit if I wanted to, but you can't rush greatness. <laughs> you gotta make sure the crap perfect, bro. For sure. When you plan on dropping? All this summer, um, bro, I'm getting, that's all, I, that's all I'm preparing for this summer. Um, bro, damn, that song, that motherfucking song, that, damn, that song, first 80 degree day. So on that is, don't don't quote me on it, but soon that bitch say 80 on my mama, something might drop. Oh bro, let me heating this bitch up. So basically we gotta wait till the summertime for a new Rello track. 
Nah, I wouldn't say that. That shit, that 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 all uh, facts on bro. That shit, then that mic gone chop. Oh, bro, who's to say? I don't know. I'm, I'm finna, like I said, I'm finna fuck him up. I'm oh, bro, I'm finna fuck him up. And I don't even wanna, you feel me? I don't even wanna uh, just speak on too much of it so a motherfucker don't hold me to no date, but yeah, shit drop. A motherfucker ain't gotta wait till the summer though, no. Nah, it's probably, it'd be one or two before then. Planning on any videos dropping before the summertime? Both of them, whatever. It's videos to everything. I ain't dropping no more dead songs. It's videos to every song that's coming out. I ain't dropping no more just, you feel me? Just a song type shit. Motherfuckers been waiting too long for my shit for me to still be getting like that. I'm bro. For sure. Um, before we get up out of here, let the people know uh, where they can follow you at and all your music. Man, y'all follow me on Instagram. Fucking at 2 Fit Ain't Badass. Y'all know Double D, Double Z, man. You know the vibes. My fucking um, Twitter, Badass TSG. Y'all can find all my shit on YouTube, SoundCloud, Lil' Rello. All right, y'all. Shout out Jake Global. Shout out Lil' Rello. Shout out my nigga Jake Global and this bitch, man. You motherfucker go way back, but that's a whole nother story. Right? We out.